on English presents Defining Relative Clauses If this name sounds complicated and you are not at all into studying grammar, I'll let you in on some sound advice. Not only is this language useful when you are speaking, but it is also a fundamental part of writing in English. Don't forget that, in order to avoid repetition of words, a relative pronoun is used to substitute for what you need to say twice. This language is called relative clauses. You already know that subject relative clauses are used when the relative pronoun replaces the subject of the main clause or refers to the subject. You also know that object relative clauses are used when the relative pronoun replaces the object of the main clause or refers to the object. This is important for us to move on. Defining relative clauses are a fundamental part of the meaning of a sentence. They define who or what you are talking about. As the information provided by the relative clause is essential for you to understand the message, you cannot use commas with defining relative clauses. Keep in mind that the pronoun can only be omitted if it refers to the object. Note that other relative pronouns are also possible. For example, to explain reason, use why. To mention time, use when. To describe place, use where. Defining relative clauses can also begin with what, only if the meaning is the thing which. However, note that what cannot be used here. Whenever you feel tempted to use what to put two sentences together, try and check whether the correct pronoun should be which. If you're about to take a test or write a composition, Keep in mind that relative pronouns are used to join two sentences or to give more information about something or someone. When it comes to writing, they play a very important role as linkers. Want to know more? Subscribe to On English Online on YouTube. Thanks for watching!